I will never forget one, one of the pastors in the denomination I was years ago was sharing a, a story because he invited me and him to a teenager's conference and he was sharing a story. He's a doctor. Young, at that time he was just 31 and he was already a consultant surgeon. Sharp brain. He, his brain was boiling. He was just 31. He was a consultant surgeon at 31. And he said there's a story he will never forget. I think the girl was 13 or 15. 13. I think she was 13. 13 year old girl. She went and she had sex with a brother and she got pregnant. So in getting pregnant, her friends advised her, your parents will kill you, your parents will kill you. So she went to a quack to abort the baby. The abortion was done. Then she now noticed that she kept bleeding. She was in pain, intense pain. When you have gotten to that place where you can't hide the, 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 the mischievousness, you will not cry to your parents. Have you noticed? You will no longer be able to hide it. The people that you were pretending, you say, they can't control my life. When you get to a point where your life is almost damaged, like a puppy with your tail in between your legs, you will now know that their age is not, is not, is not, is not cartoon. They didn't get to that age by accident. There's some wisdom. You go back and you... I did it with my own mother. When Confra wanted to finish me, I had to wake her in the middle of the night. I joined something. I had to wake her. Yes. She, she now went to her mother. They now rushed her to hospital. The doctors began to battle. Hours. They were battling. Battling. The mother was outside. Praying. Live for Kobaya. There are some damage that will happen to you in destiny. Prayer will be too late. That time, it will not be a prayer of intervention. It will be a prayer that God have mercy. Let the person just manage. Don't be angry with me. It's in the Bible. Do you know that Samson could have prayed and said, Oh God! Give me my strength again. But he prayed the prayer of a damaged man. He said, let me die with my enemies. When they had battled and battled, and there was no way to save the child, the doctor came out and told the mother that the only way to save her, that the quack that did the abortion, in the process, he punctured her womb. He punctured. So the bleeding was from the hole in the womb. That there are only two options. Allow her die or remove the womb. Mother cry. Is there anything we can do? Mama, the more you cry here, the more time is going. Which one? Do we stop the process or we remove the womb? The mama, remove her, remove her. At 13, 13, she has initiated herself into a journey that she may never recover from. When she was about to pull her pant that day, if she comes from a Christian home, all the morning devotions, all the words of her parents would have flashed before her eyes. The warnings of God would have come strong. But she would tell herself that I want to enjoy myself. We don't know that the commandments of God are not to punish us. They are to protect us. God knows the consequence of sin.